Hi, I'm Sophie and welcome to my world. Now today you might notice that I have a very special friend with me and her name is Katie. Katie, thanks for coming today. You're welcome. So Katie is a great crafter and she and I have known each other for quite some time, haven't we? For mm -hmm. a long time, since before your sisters were born. I've known Katie for quite some time, and she and I are going to make some projects today. So I thought that we'd start with something really fun. I thought we'd make a bracelet. Now, do you know what a slap bracelet is? Yes. Okay, well, we're going to make my version of a slap bracelet, because the thing about it is that a real slap bracelet is long and skinny, and you go, and it like slaps to your bracelet, right? right? Slaps to your wrist. Well, watch this. This is my version of a slap bracelet. It, it slaps to your wrist, but it doesn't make that sound. But it's still pretty cool, right? Yeah. And you get to design it yourself. Mm -hmm. And you know the best thing? What? It's made out of recycled materials. Can you guess what we're going to make this out of? What do you um, think? A soda can. Very good guess. You got it. One of these little guys right here. So for this project, which is a completely recycled project, we are going to be using a soda bottle. Now you just want to make sure that it's a plastic bottle that has, you know, a, a area that is like non-ridgy, yeah. like that. We're going to be using some Sharpie pens, mm -hmm. you know, some markers, and we're going to use a little duct tape because duct tape is always fun to use. Yeah. And Katie has chosen stars and stripes, so we're going to be using that. Now, Katie, for this one, I am going to be using an X-Acto knife. Now, an X-Acto knife is one of those tools that you want to always make sure you have an adult supervision yeah. just because it's sharp. And, you know, it's easy for that to slip out and you don't want to get cut, so just always have an adult for that. And we're going to need a pair of scissors. So the first thing we're going to do, Miss Katie, is you are going to choose your favorite colors of marker. And you'll notice that I've put a piece of paper down on our um, work surface here, just because we are going to be using markers that leave a mark, and we don't want to mess up our, ooh, those are good ones. We don't want to mess up our work surface. Okay, Katie, so what I'm going to do is I'm first going to take my bottle here. And this is where we need the X-Acto knife. Now remember, there's this ridgy area, ridgy area. See mm -hmm. this perfect area here? That's where yeah. the label goes. This is the perfect area to cut. So all I'm going to do is take this and make a cut here and make a cut here. And that's really all I need to do cut-wise because now I can come and bring my scissors in. So those first two cuts are really the only important part where we need that, that exacto knife. So I'm going to cut this off. Now this makes a great funnel, right? So we'll save that for later. And I'm going to cut the bottom off here. Now, at this point, too, see that, that part right there? Mm -hmm. That's where the label came off. Yes. So I'm going to cut right down the middle of that. And now I'm going to cut around. So we now have a very large, I'm going to save that one, too, because you know what? That makes a great cup. OK, I'm going to put that off to the side. We have now have a very large slap bracelet. Let's try it. Yeah. Woof, that's like a cuff, right? That's yeah. a little big, right? Yeah. So. What we want to do is we want to trim this edge so it's nice and smooth, and then we want to cut it to the size that we want. So what do you think? Maybe about that wide for you? Yeah, probably. Okay. So I'm going to cut this top just to make it nice and smooth, because any time that I use scissors or any time that I use an X-Acto knife with plastic, because of the shape of it, because it's round like that, mm -hmm. it's not easy to cut. You know what I mean? And I'm going to cut right about there, you think? Yeah, that's good. OK, so once you've got this material cut, and you know, actually, Katie's pretty good with scissors. She could probably cut this herself. But for speed's sake, I'm going to do it for her. Now yeah. it's all up to Katie. Katie, you can de design this and decorate this any way you want. Okay. So what's cool about this is you can just make you know, like patterns and color it. Or if you want to, you can take some of this tape here. And what we can do with the tape is put it on here. So I'm going to let you take it okay. and put it on anywhere you want. That's it. And the thing about it is you can go anywhere, any way. You can go up and down with it like Katie's doing. That's great. You want to put one on the other side too yeah, while we're sure. at it? I'll get you another one. You just yell tape and I'll bring you tape. And if you want to do... Um, Long skinny, you can do long skinny. What I did for Katie is I actually cut her some pieces ahead of time here. And they're just pieces of tape cut into about inch, inch and a half. But you could do it long, skinny, fat. The only thing that I have discovered with this is that, you okay there? You got it? Yeah, I'm good. The only thing that I've discovered with the, the plastic is to keep that rounded shape, 
it's, it's better to do it in strips as opposed to one big long piece that you cover the entire uh, plastic strip, just because then it keeps that snappability, which is what makes it really fun. At least I think it's really fun. So Katie's going to town here. I'll let you keep going with that. And what's really, really fun is that if you wanted to, you could work in some stickers, you could work in you know, any of your own artwork designs, you could put one level on the front and then another level on the back. So if you wanted to color the whole front with say blue and then flip it over and put fish, it gives you that three dimensional quality where it looks like the fish are actually swimming. Well, that's looking good. Oh, I'm in your way. So Katie's gonna keep working here until she's all done and then she's gonna, whoop, she's gonna just keep going. She's just gonna keep working here until she's done. And the thing about it, she can make as many of these as she wants. You can do different sizes. You can make them different. Um, ooh, that color's. Yeah. Let's see. Kind of dim. Kind of dim. We might want to do a different color, huh? Yeah. You might need to play with your colors to see. What color would you like instead? I'll take this yellow. Okay. So you can play with your colors. You can play with your images. You can play with your shapes. And when you get all the way done, you'll end up with a cute little bracelet that you can slap right on. So I guess instead of calling it a slap bracelet, maybe we could call it a wrist snapper? Maybe. <laughs> maybe. Can you get that? I got it. For more fabulous ideas made out of recycled materials, come and check us out at sophie-world.com. Katie and I are going to keep working on this. Maybe we'll open our own chain of recycled jewelry. What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe.